What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joe Dobbany and I'm an electrical engineer and wanted to discuss with you guys is AI going to replace electrical engineers? A lot of software engineers, a lot of people in other fields are afraid that this advancement in artificial intelligence can put a danger in their way of life, whether it be a software engineer, embedded, or any other business area that, you know, even lawyers are complaining that AI might be replacing them because now you don't need to go meet with a lawyer to ask ChatGPT or X Grok a question related to law. So how does it affect us? So most of you already understand that electrical engineers do some coding on the side, but a lot of it is related to things that come into real life. For example, this G502 mouse, right? It needed software engineers, hardware engineers to actually put this together before they brought it into reality, right? Maybe the software side can now be leveraged using AI to make that happen faster, but you still need real world testing when it comes to hardware and electrical circuits to verify if these online or computer simulations are correct. For example, this is one of my old bunk converters that I've made back in college. I always keep in my drawer as a memory as my first completed PCB. Now I'm working on PWBs, which are just PCBs with multiple layers. All the testing that I did on the computer to make this come into a reality, I still needed to physically test it before I could deem it true. For example, as an RF engineer, there are softwares we use like HFS, ANSYS HFSS. And this software allows us to pretty much work in a perfect space digitally that we can simulate RF signals. So if we build something and we wanna see how it would apply, and if you already made it this far to the video, please, please, I appreciate you for liking the video and subscribing if you're new. If you have any questions, leave in the conversation down below and I'll respond to you. In a real world, without us having to physically produce it, we can put it onto ANSYS and you'd pretty much build whatever you're gonna build in real life, you're gonna put whatever parts and then you're gonna simulate it and see the results. Here's the thing, eventually we're gonna to get to the point where AI can do it, right? But right now we still need a lot of humans to physically construct these things before they can simulate. But that's just the beginning. Once we do that, if we like it, we bring it into the real world where we actually simulate it again. So we produce the item and then we re-simulate. And there's real world errors that computers cannot see it. Eventually, they're gonna be better at predicting it, but there's just a lot of cases that you cannot predict, especially if you're putting something that may be going underwater, something that could be in the sky. You gotta worry about the wind, location, time, and place. All these different variables actually takes real humans to go out and test. Unlike software engineers, they can just write a code, test it, if there's an error, it goes back and changes it to try to fix that error because a lot of these AI are trained with data that can correct their own mistakes. Now, if you're a computer, you literally cannot physically touch PCBs. You cannot touch it. You cannot see the errors that could have happened even in the production side of things. So you still need electrical engineers there to verify things. And there's a lot of softwares out there that electrical engineers use today that I wish AI was already incorporated with it, but a lot of the things electrical engineers are so complex that even the softwares haven't, in my opinion, they haven't reached the level where it can actually help electrical engineers be very efficient. Now, don't get me wrong. AI is a big time game changer. Three years ago, if you're an electrical engineer and your weak point was in software engineering, you just had to do 10 times the effort to make your code come into fruition. Now, if you barely know how to program things, you can continuously program and learn while using AI to help you leverage that lack of skill that you have. You can code something and just put it into ChatGPT, tell it, hey, can you fix my code and make it better? And over time, although you're using AI to help you, you're gonna start learning things that you're just gonna remember. And ultimately, you're make, becoming a better electrical engineer who's learning more software engineering. So you have to understand for electrical engineers, AI as of today, or even in the next 10 years, I don't see AI as a replacement tool of electrical engineers. What I do see AI 
is a very powerful tool that can put specific electrical engineers that do utilize this ahead of those who don't. For an example, you're working on a software, right? Whether it be AutoCAD, ANSYS, Altium, Expedition, any of those software that are very common to electrical engineers. You use any of those and you run into a bug or an issue. And now you're trying to troubleshoot. So instead of you going through maybe 15 trials of you troubleshooting, you can use AI to leverage that. So whatever error you come across when you try to simulate your model, you can plug it into artificial intelligence and be like, hey, I got this error, what could this mean? And the AI will give you all though the number one predictability that it thinks this is the issue and then others versus you going out of your way, spending another 30 to 45 minutes troubleshooting the software to try to find a solution. Now, because you're leveraging AI, you're completing things 45 minutes faster than your counterpart who may have ran into that same exact problem, but they took 30 to 45 minutes to solve it. So long term, electrical engineers who leverage artificial intelligence are going to outperform those who don't. So you just got to pick which side are you going to be on? Are you going to be on the side that just watches AI continually grow? Or do you want to grow with the technology? Because AI is here to stay. And as electrical engineers, we better capitalize on it. So here's another interesting part about artificial intelligence. There are certain limits that are in artificial intelligence that's actually very beneficial to those who have electrical engineering degrees. Reason being is, as time goes on, you already see Tesla's making their robots. Um, multiple companies in Asia are building their own robots. There's going to be a time where a lot of these robots are going to be replacing construction workers. They're gonna be replacing a lot of human labor. And I mean, it's unfortunate, all those people are gonna lose their job, are gonna have to find something else to do. But it's coming and there's no way we can stop it. Now, as an electrical engineer, you have the opportunity to be on the side that innovates those robotics. There will always be a need for new circuits for new robots, right? Humans need to build, test, and repair all of these new robots that are going to be coming out. When there's new AI, even recently, Google's trying to, Google and Microsoft working on their quantum computers. Once they merge it with artificial intelligence, now they have to start making new hardware that's going to be working with these quantum computers. Yes, there will be a need for software engineers, but a lot of this software coding is leveraged with AI, but to actually come up and be creative and build these things, you need very intelligent electrical engineers, hardware engineers, embedded system engineers. All of these people are needed to make these things come into reality. So I definitely don't see electrical engineers as the one of the fields that are going to be replaced by AI. If anything, AI is actually going to evolve electrical engineers because I believe electrical engineers are people who are very creative, which is why they chose this field. A lot of engineers in general want to build things and electrical engineers want to build things related to hardware, circuits, all of those things are, are going to be needed to take what AI can help us with to the next level. Now, all the crazy creations that we thought could take us maybe 10, 30, or 40 years in the future, now with AI, we can help our imagination come into reality and build it. That's why I love about being an electrical engineer. You come up with something in your head and you wanna build it. You go ahead and do it. You have all the tools. You got your degree in electrical engineering. You know how to set up your circuits, your analog signals, your chips, all those good stuff. And now with the help of AI, you'll be able to create software that can help you and your technology. And better yet, this is the icing on the top, because AI is being so powerful, if you were to hire somebody overseas or something to help you build something, a software engineer who understands coding already and leverages AI can definitely give you much better results than if you barely know how to code and did it yourself. So now people who you were afraid to rely on that are overseas cannot use AI to leverage um, what current skills they have to produce the product that you need. So what do you think? Do you think AI is here to take electrical engineers positions or do you think there's other fields? What year do you think AI is going to come for us? All right, on that note, I appreciate you for watching this video. Jadavni is out.